Shalom. Giving all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai Brakatham to you sincere believers, to the hopefully elect, which we're hoping and striving to be a part of that number because Amen. Um the times that we're coming into, um, you're gonna have to the, the, the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is, is 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 really gonna have to be dealing with you to be able to withstand in that day. Alright. And this is why um, concerning the hopeful elect, the, the concerning the hopeful elect, the Lord has been uh, building us up, um, you know, on a, on a, on a, uh, with a with a firm foundation, right? You know, so that we can be able to withstand in that day. Versus everyone else, their foundation being unstable, um, they're not going to survive when 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 the flood comes, right? And um, I'm, I'm gonna read this real quick in First Corinthians chapter three. First Corinthians chapter three, let's we'll start at verse 11. It says, for other foundation can no man lay than that is laid, which is Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Now, if any man build upon th this foundation, gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, and stubble, every man's work shall be made manifest. Because pretty much when the Lord brings, when he brings the flood, um, you know, because they, as we're slowly but surely coming into the hour of temptation, which it's looking like this could be it, man, with this new variant that's out, right? <laughs> you know, and Lord's will, um, because they're talking about the possibility of shutting things back down, and you know, again, Lord's will, we're hoping that hey, this is this is it, man. You know, because um, you know, with with all these different things going on. Um, because the stage is being set for this place to go up in flames, man, as it tells you in Luke, you know, the Lord is coming to send a fire, but this place is already going to be up in flames, man. You know, all hell is going to be breaking loose, you know, on all sides. And again, um, if you don't have a firm foundation, then you won't be able to withstand in that day. All right. Um, But because I was looking into how because pretty much they're still talking about. Things like a government shutdown. I was I was uh, looking into that today. You know, which in the midst of a so-called pandemic, um, America's economy is already in shambles. You know, and um, uh, pretty much something like that. It's it's. I don't think I, I don't believe that. Um, it, it's going to pretty much if if the government shut shuts down, man, it's 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 going to make matters much worse, and that's just adding fuel to the fire, because like I said, America's economy is already in shambles. You know. Um, it's it's just a matter of a time and the end of the right event for this place to to to, to really just just you know be like these other places, you know, like Venezuela and uh, Lebanon, which this video I got here, you know, because um, this is pretty much a um, what do you call it, um, you know, an addition of coming to an America, right? You know, um, going into the living conditions of certain places like Lebanon and Afghanistan and other places to where. A lot of the stuff's not being put on the mainstream media, you know, <laughs> uh, on, on what's really going on in these places. Like, you know, you, you, it's so bad in other places that, you know, uh, families, man, they have to sell their daughter. They have to sell their young daughters to, for food, you know, and supplies and things like that because of how bad is how bad the living conditions are, you know. And you see, again, because, hey, that stuff eventually is it's, it's coming here, man. All right. And again, you know, if you don't have a firm foundation, then. You're gonna, you, you, you're gonna, you're gonna fold, man. You know. So reading on it says, verse thirteen: every every man's work shall be made manifest. So it's gonna be made. It's gonna be basically you're gonna be proven. It. You know, you, you you know the the Lord's gonna uh, make it out to where he's gonna. You're gonna have to show what you're really about, man. All right. Again, going into the hour of temptation, right? We're all gonna be tested, man, and everyone's gonna be proven. All right. So it's gonna be show what you're made of, man, and what you're really about. When the Lord turns up the heat, it says, for the day shall declare it because it shall be revealed by fire. You see, like I said, to the hopefully elect, the Lord has already been purifying us. You know, he's already been putting us through that, that fiery furnace with our different tribulations and things of that nature. You know, all of our afflictions, the Lord has been building us up to where, like I said, where Lord's will, we have a firm foundation to where, you know, we can withstand in this, this, this day that's coming, man. It says, and the fire shall try every man's work of, of what sort it is. So again, you're going to be, 
it's, it's you know, you're gonna have to prove what you're about, man. What you're what you're really made of, because even now, man. Um, well, on one note, because you got people. Um, here it is. You know, the Joe Banana Twenty Fours. They haven't even really put the pressure on yet, and you already got people. Um, you even got Israelite so-called leaders, all right, leaders in Israel, um, taking that Vanessa, man, already folding, man, you know, already complying to the beast, right? Um, like I said, the Job 9 to 24s, they ain't even come down with that great wrath yet, you know? But on the other hand, you got people that, a, um, a lot of people, man, they're pretty much in that spirit of, of rebellion and, you know, they're pretty much saying that they're not taking this shit, Right? But it's easier said than done. Like I said, when you know, it's easier to it's, it's easier to say that now. When, like I said, your back is not against the corner, right? You know, and these these things aren't in full effect as of yet. It's easy to say these things now, but a, hey, like I said, or like the scripture say, you know, a, hey, um, matter of fact, because there's another one <laughs> that it can tie into this, and that is. Um, Second Timothy chapter two verse nineteen, it says, "Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure, because when you build your firm foundation on Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, you can't go wrong, man. You, you know, when you when you apply the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, you can't fail. All right. So the foundation of the Lord, man, the Lord's foundation. All right. Um, it's it's it's, it's good, man. You know, it's 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 perfect. You know, there's there's no like the scripture say when it comes to this Bible." When it comes to this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man, there's no, uh, there's no mate, you know, there's, no, there's nothing else that we need to, you know, um, make it through this, this terrible time that we're getting ready to, 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 you know, go through. All right, this is all that we need, man, pertaining to salvation. That's why, I said, again, it said, nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure. And let me just see what this says. Let me just see this definition real quick. But this word sure, right, through the spirit, right? And the Greek, the Greek word for sure. Strong's G 4731, <laughs> stereos, stereos. Or stereos, right? And the definition says, So um, the definition says, hold up, this thing is acting up. And you see, this is why I just could say wisdom and knowledge not be the stability. This is what's going to keep you stable. All right. Clear headed, sober minded. All right. So just bear with me, man. This thing is acting up. Because, you know, man, these these people, man, they, they don't want this truth to come out, man, you know. Brothers have been talking about, and I've been experience, experiencing this, man, with the app problems, man, and uploading videos and stuff, man, you know, all type of, of, of problems, you know, but, you know, when it, when it you know, because, you know, on, on um, you know, uh, downtime, you know, pretty much when I'm not watching brothers' videos and, you know, looking into articles and stuff, you know, when I'm just, you know, my folly, whatever, videos, they, you know, I'll play videos, certain videos that I like, you know, and, and, I video, you know, the videos play without any issues, man. But when it comes to, you know, looking into stuff and articles and uploading videos and doing these things, man, there's always an issue, you know. But nevertheless, the definition for this um, word here for um, for what was it? Sure. Right. Again, the Greek. The Greek word being stereos and the definition says strong, firm, immovable, solid, hard, rigid. Right. You know, so yeah, again, strong, firm, and immovable, solid, hard, rigid. All right. You know, steadfast, right? So yeah, again, Second Timothy two nineteen. Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure. All right. So again, you know, hey, this truth, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, all right, hey, this is what's going to keep you stable, all right, firm and unmovable in that when in the in the times to come, all right. It says having having this seal, the Lord 
knoweth them that are his. Because like I was saying, you know, you got a lot of people that there in that spirit. Oh, I ain't taking that, 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 that Vanessa, man. I'm not, I, I'm not dealing with it. You know, you got a lot of people that in that spirit already. But you see, only the elect, all right, which the, the elect, they belong to the Lord, right? You know, the Lord knows who, you know, who, uh, who's his and who's not. So all these people, pretty much if you're outside the outside of the elect, you're going to fold, man. All right. Only the elect, hey, the Lord's going to make sure that, you know, they, 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 you know, are going to be un. Uh, 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 immovable in that day It says And let everyone that nameth the name of Hamashiach Depart from iniquity Alright and you see Because hey this that's another thing This is how you can be preserved um, In that day of trouble Alright you know Because the scriptures talk about offending less man We, we got to depart from iniquity We can't you know just Because just, these people man they're out here just willingly sinning, sinning and committing transgressions and whatnot, And thinking that you know At the last second which uh, for the most part, because you are going to have Israelites at the last second get saved. All right. Um, but nevertheless, they're part of the elect. Like I said, only the elect are going to, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, be pardoned, pardoned from their iniquities or whatnot. But to everyone else that's been playing the games and, you know, when it's all on all hell breaks loose and they're going to try to come at the last second. No, man, the Lord, you know, he's going to reject you, man. All right. But um, going back to First uh, Timothy chapter six. Was that the right place? Oh, Slaki, I don't Matter of fact. Matter of fact, I read. I'll go ahead and read that, actually. Real quick. First, first Timothy, because I just read 2 Timothy 2 and 19. So, yeah, let me read this. First Timothy 6 and 19. It says, laying up in store for themselves a good foundation against the time to come. So you see, all right, because, hey, um, we're building up our treasure in, in heavenly places. <laughs> all right, and with that, um, hey, man, like I said, you know, you're, you're diligent in this thing. And, you know, the Lord sees that you're sincere. Like I said, ultimately it goes back to the elect. All right. Um, you know, you, you're pretty much going to be pre preserved from uh, against the time to come. Right. It says that they might lay hold on eternal life. All right. Because what the scriptures go into holding fast uh, pretty much what you have until the Lord comes, man, you know, enduring until the end, so on and so forth, you know. So, hey, we're budding up our 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 treasures uh, in, um, you know, heavenly places, man, you know, um, building up our, our spiritual bank account. And when it's time to cash out, then, hey, you know, the, the reward is going to pay off, man. You can bet your top dollar that. All right. The reward is going to be is going to pay off a uh, pay pay off when it. When it's time to cash out, right? But um, going back to uh, 1 Corinthians, that's where I was at. 1 Corinthians chapter 3. 1 Corinthians chapter 3. Verse 13 again. Every man's work shall be made manifest. For the day shall cut, for the day shall declare it. Because it shall be re revealed by fire and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. So, hey, man, we're all going to be tried out. All right. And like I said, the elect, they already got the victory. It's just a matter of these things playing out. All right. It says, verse 14, if any man's work, if any man's work abide, which he hath built there, thereupon, he shall receive a reward. You see, because like I said, we're building up our spiritual bank account. And when it's time to cash out, hey, the reward, hey, this is going to be a big payout more than we deserve, man. Right. Um, just to paint a little bit, a, a little bit of a visual, it's like, you know, you go to the ATM machine and, you know, you, um, you know, you, you trying to take $20 out and it just, it's just, you know, prints out. It's just, you know, uh, cause you know, they showed it in the, the, the TV commercials and stuff where, you know, the people go to the ATM and all the money comes out, you know, they, they, they might just, you know, take out a certain money, but the money keeps coming out. Right. You know, like I said, you go to the ATM machine and you just want to take $20 out, but it just takes out all hundreds of hundreds keep, it, it keeps shooting out. You know, um, that's how our reward is going to be, man. It's going to be a big payout, man, more than what we deserve, man, more than what we can even handle. So this is why, hey, because what we go through, it may seem like a lot because we're in this flesh, but it's really nothing. All right. You know, it's, it's, it's really small and minute. Right. But, you know, like I said, because we're in this flesh and, you know, when you are actually going through hell, of course, it doesn't feel good. But nevertheless, man, we're going to be looking back in the kingdom like, man, we had to all we had to do was deal with that. So, and we get all this, man, you know, you know, 
But um, go verse 15, it says, If any man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer loss, but he himself shall be saved, yet so as by fire. Right? So, um, actually... Because I'm going back to verse 12. Um, it says, Now if any man build upon his foundation gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, stubble. Right? Now, um, again, going back to a, a, a firm foundation, which, you know, if you build your foundation upon, um, you know, uh, substances like gold, silver, and, and precious stones, that's, that's, a, that's, a, a, that's a firm foundation. Right? But if you build your uh, a foundation upon wood, hay, stubble, and, and you know, uh, weak material that 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 foundation man that house that building is not gonna it's not gonna stand man it's it's, it's gonna fall when the when the flood comes you see you know um see if I can find this real quick um where's that at just bear with me real quick. And the whole point of this being that, again, we have to have a we're going to have to have a firm foundation um, for when these things start tucked in, uh, you know, coming over here to the shores of America. Damn, I can't find that precept. I thought that was in Luke. <laughs> Just bear with me real quick. Might be in Matthew. <clears throat> or it's probably it probably is in Luke. I'm just looking in the wrong wrong place. Let me try this in Matthew. Yep, this is it. All right, so Matthew chapter seven verse twenty four. It says, "Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, you see, because hey." Um, you know, faith is backed up by works, right? Um, and again, you know, um, um, you're indulging in this, in this ministry as much as possible. You're indulging in the spirit of Yahweh Shema Shai, all right? Um, it says, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock, all right? Which is a, a firm substance, right? <laughs> it says, and the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and he and beat upon the ho that house and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock, right? Because, again, he had a firm foundation. So when the floods came, hey, when the rain and the floods came, hey, and it, it beat upon the house, hey, the house, it was unmovable. All right, it was firm, hard, because it had a firm foundation. It says, and everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not, all right, because it's one thing to say that you're a Hebrew Israelite, right? You know, but it's another thing, you know, this, this isn't some trending fad, man. All right, you know, you have to be dead serious about this, man. You know, it's, it's a lifestyle and there's requirements that's met of us. So, like I said, it's one thing to say that you're a uh, Hebrew Israelite, but what are you doing to contribute to the body to, you know, uh, build up your spiritual bank account and, and whatnot? You know, it says, and do if them not shall be likened unto a foolish man, <laughs> which built his house upon the sand and the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house and it fell and great was the fall of it. So you see, because, hey, like I said, hey, the Lord, he's getting ready to give the green light for these devils. Right. Which he's known as the flood. Isaiah 59, Isaiah 59 and 19 and other places. 
All right. <sighs> the floods, man. Hey, the devil's getting ready to come down with that great wrath, man. You know, and again, if you don't have a firm foundation, you know, hey, you're not going to survive out here. You're not going to make it because, um, hey, the times that we're coming into, man, is you know, it's it's it's, it's people, man. They're about to be heart, uh, heart, uh, heartless. You know, it's about to be a doggy dog world out here, man. You see. Um, but, you know, uh, I'm going to go ahead and play this video. Um, the title says Lebanon's worsening, worsening living conditions spark more protests. So I'm just going to play this video real quick. These young men say they've run out of options and that's why they've returned to the streets. Lebanon's economy has all but collapsed. We are hungry and tired. Buying meat for our children is a dream. We are living a life of humiliation. There is no end in sight for the financial meltdown. The country needs international financial assistance, but politicians are not reforming a state riddled with corruption. The politicians are destroying us. They made us poor. These young men don't have jobs. The crisis is not new, but it's got worse because the government lifted its subsidies on essential goods due to a lack of foreign reserves. The fallout of the economic collapse has left three-fourths of the population poor, and the United Nations is warning of even worse conditions if no solutions are found. The local currency, the lira, continues to lose its value against the dollar. It's affecting purchasing power, while a cash-strapped state has so far failed to give the poor promised financial aid. So, yeah, man, you know, just some of the things that's going on in, in these other places. Hey, Amen. It's coming to America very shortly. What are you going to do when um, the, 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 value, the, the, the dollar becomes so devalued that it's, it, it becomes worth nothing? It, it becomes uh, worthless, you know? Because, hey, as we speak, the, the purchasing power of the dollar, man, is, is, is getting weaker and weaker as we speak by the second. You know, so what are you going to do when, hey, here it is, they're, they're um, you know, holding back a lot of the uh, goods and supplies offshores or whatnot. You know, and it's, it's just a matter of time because you see the thing where people, they think that just because it's not affect, you know, they're not being affected right away. You know, just because they're hoarding all that, hoarding all that food all, and, and supplies offshores. And you still go to the store now and, you know, for the most part, the, the, the shelves are, you know, somewhat, uh, um, you know, uh, full and whatnot. Then, you know, people, they don't they don't really, you know, pay my tour or, or, or whatever. You know, they, they they don't think that, you know, this is a, 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 you know, something to worry about. But again, man, you got to understand that, hey, you know, one thing is going to lead to another. And eventually it's, that's going to catch up. Here it is with the truck drivers, man, they. I think they're approaching the deadline to where they have to take the Vanessa, you know, and if you don't know, dealing with the, the truck, the, these truck drivers, man, they're pretty much like the backbone because they're pretty much the ones that get all the supplies to these different store chains or whatnot. You know, a lot of them have been going on protest, right, strikes and stuff like that, you know, and uh, again, here it is, they're coming up to the deadline to where they got to take that Vanessa, you know, so, I mean, you just put the pieces to the puzzle together, man, and, and see, man, it, it's a disaster for, uh, it's a recipe for disaster. So again, what are you going to do when not only are you going to have empty shelves, but hey, like the dude said, man, you know, trying to buy meat, that's that's like a luxury. Well, it's going to get so bad here in America, uh, a pack of ketchup, man, that's that's going to be like, that's that's going to be like, uh, 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 you know, fine dining, man. That's that's how bad it's going to be, you know, um, um, uh, a pack of ketchup, man, you know. Uh, 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 find, finding a, a, a just a, a random uh, slice of bread, you know that that's all molded and shit, man. That's that's gonna be a that's gonna be a precious in 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 the in the days to come because of how bad it's gonna be. All right, but again, not only that, you know, for the stores that you know somewhat have food left and supplies left, um, like I was saying, the price of the the dollar is gonna be so devalued that. Like I said, what are you going to do when, uh, 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 and this is already happening in places like Nigeria, you know, did a video on that uh, a while ago, you know, how uh, it's so expensive. Uh, some things, basic necessities is so expensive over there, right? Uh, a damn toothbrush is running you, running you like $40, $40, man, $50. So what are you going to do when, hey, like I was saying, you have, you're going to have a lack of food and supplies, man. But not only that, you're going to have, uh, the things are going to be so overpriced, hyperinflation. You see, 
and you already have this 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 crime uh, crime spree where, you know, um, uh, uh, people just you know attacking these uh, um robbing these these retailers these, these store retailers and whatnot you know, and again eventually it's gonna get you know. It's going to get to the point where, hey, people are going to be robbing each other and, and, you know, going door to door to, you know, looking for supplies and things of that nature. You know, you know, uh, traveling in, in groups of twos, threes, tens, you know, twenties, you know, um, traveling from neighborhood to neighborhood up and down the streets, you know, searching different houses or whatnot. Because of how bad it's going to be out here, man. You see, and again, if you don't have a firm foundation and you how about your mouth shot, then you're not going to fold, man. You're gonna, hey, you're going to be swept away when the flood comes, man. You know, because it's going to be a combination of things. It's not going to be just, you know, Esau and his martial law troops. No, man, you're going to have, as the scriptures say, Egyptians shall fight against Egyptian. You know, neighbor against neighbor, right? You know, all type of uh, uh, class wars are going to be breaking out. Class wars and, you know, all type of civil unrest, you know, like Lebanon and these other places, man. They're, they, man, they're, 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 they're going through it, man. They're suffering, you know. All the while, inflation is climbing. The dollar's exchange rate fluctuates every hour. That's why we don't put the prices on goods, since they are adjusted all the time. The Hear crisis that? began in late 2019. Authorities used force to end the nationwide protest movement and fought about cabinet seats for more than a year. They formed the government in September, but it hasn't met for six weeks now because of new political divisions. In Lebanon, we're not like any other country where people go into the state things would change because we're not only uh, confronting a government, we're confronting a government which is backed up with a very powerful militia who have been laying around in the region, which is Hezbollah. But many warn growing poverty could change that. We don't have money to buy bread and medicine for our sick family members. We can't cope with the situation. Many have lost... You can't cope with the situation because, hey, you don't have a firm foundation and you're about Shemal Shai faith in a political class blamed for ruining the economy after decades of corruption. But for now, there's little hope for change. The road to recovery appears blocked. Which is all intentional, you know, orchestrated, right? But that's a different topic. Um, but yeah, man, um, this is just, you know, like I said, hey, um, coming to America soon, man. You know, and what are you going to do? Or what are you going to do if you don't have this truth, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, which will be your stability. I'm going to read this in 2 Timothy chapter 3, starting at 1. It says, This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. And as it's been broken down plenty of times, this word perilous goes into dangerous. We're coming into very dangerous times, man, to where, hey, you know, just, just, just walking outside, man, you know, just walking outside, man, you, you know, hey, you, you might not make it back home, you know. Um... It's like, hey, like I said, people are going to be robbing one another, man, looking to take the next man for what he's got, you know, you see. And, and, and like I said, in those days, man, hey, the scriptures say the love of many shall wax cold, man. People aren't going to give it two shits about, you know, anyone else but themselves because it's going to it's all going to be it's all going to be about, you know, me and mine, you know. um, Hey, because these people, man, they're about to turn into a brute beast, survivalists, because that's how it's going to be. You know, everyone's going everyone's going to have to defend for themselves for the most part. You know, it says, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boosters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. <laughs> it says, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good. You see, and all these things that are already taking place. All right. Like I said, hey, you know, well, you already see that with the social media. Social media has made people so desensitized to, 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 to reality, you know, that, you know, you try to spark a conversation with no, uh, someone, you know, they, they, you know, people can't even hold a conversation because they're so desensitized, man. You see, you know, and, and clear, clearly people are proud, you know, people, you know, blasphemers talking all kind of shit. You know, clearly these people are, are unholy, right? They just, you know, you can just see the demons on these people, you know, and uh, again, clearly these, these kids are, are disobedient to their parents. I was just with my demon today, man, and we saw some shit or she she said something about some kids that they were doing some 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 stupid shit. I I, I could care less, but I told her straight up, you know, because she was all disgusted and pissed off. And I told her straight up, hey, this is why, hey, Lord, don't discriminate. You know, 
hey, you go, hey, the Lord's going to start killing a lot of these kids, man. This disrespectful, disobedient as children, these young teens, these young adults, women are going to, you know, uh, the Lord's going to be offing these, 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 these women off. I was watching a video about brother. He did a video about how, hey, man, these two, these uh, two, the Lord uh, brought judgment upon these two women. All right, because, hey, one of them, she was married and she went out, you know, her, her, her simp husband, um, you know, allowed her to go out to the club and shit. You know, she was out to like one o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the morning and she never came back home. You see. You see, man, because, hey, like I said, the Lord don't doesn't discriminate, you know, hey, was it telling you Ezekiel 9, slay utterly old and young men, women, children. Hey, if you're outside of the elect, hey, you're not going to make it out here. All right. Because, again, um. Well, verse three says without natural affection. So, hey, you know, the, 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 because there was a point in time, you know, hey, people were for the most part, you know, family orient, orientated and, you know, looked after one another. But the, the times that we're coming into now, and you've already been seeing this, but the times that we're coming into now, it, it ain't nobody going to give a damn about the next person, you know, man, woman, or child. It's all, it's all going to be about, you know, getting it in for themselves, man, and, and you know, surviving, because that's, that's what it's going to boil down to. Like I said, what are you going to do when, Food and, and basic necessities is so, so scarce, yet so expensive, you know, hyperinflation and all these things, you know, uh, uh, hit Babylon the Great. What are you going to do, man? And this is why, like I said, you know, if you don't have a a, a, a firm foundation and you're about Shabbat Shah, you're going to be swept away when the flood comes. All right. When the Lord brings judgment out here, you're not going to make it, man. You know, hey, it will behoove you. And, and it's, 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 it's spiritual because... Like I said, the wise man, he built this foundation upon a wise, uh, upon a rock, right? Versus the foolish, you know, he, he, you know, uh, 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 an unstable foundation. And it's spiritual because, hey, you got the 10 uh, wise, uh, excuse me, the 10 virgins. You got the five wise virgins and the five, fool, the five foolish virgins. You see, the five wise vir uh, virgins going, you know, basically representing the, the elect because, hey, they're going to, you know, take advantage of the opportunity that was given to him, you know, because, hey, this the, the, the Lord has let us know now before he brings the destruction. He's letting us know now that, hey, you know, this is the time to get it while you can. Because, hey, when the Lord what does it tell you, was that Ecclesiastes 12 and one, I, I believe. Right. Seek the Lord while the evil days come not. Right. You know, seek the Lord in thy youth while the evil, evil days come not. You know, because hey, when the Lord shuts us, when he when he closes the ministry, and he shuts the ark and he, you know, that's it. All right, no more videos going up. No more brothers out there in the highways. When when the Lord closes all this up, that's it. Because like I said, for a lot of people, it's gonna be too late. You know, they they would they they live a sinful life and they they think that they could just at the last second repent and try to do no nah, man. All right, and I'm talking about for those that that are outside of the elect. Because again, some of the elect, you're gonna have a lot of Israelites waiting up at the last hour, the last second, even uh, uh, until the missiles come. Right, you're gonna have a hey, some brothers that are are, are there to be converted and they're gonna be saved. And sisters, all right. But to 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 those outside of the elect, you ain't gonna make it, man. You see, but in, you know, nevertheless, this has just been another one of those, uh, you know, coming to America. You know, on this edition of coming to America, man. Hey, um, it's been on my mind. Second, as just fourteen and thirteen. Hey, set down house in order, man. Hey, you let go of the mortal thoughts. This isn't a time to be. Oh, I got bills, and I don't know how I'm gonna pay this debt. And oh man, you know, I'm trying to save up for this. This isn't time for all that shit, man. You know, get thine house in order, get thyself in order, man. Examine ourselves because it's about to get real out here. You know, so hopefully this was edifying, giving all praises to Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, the Bon City Apostles of Great Millstone. Yahweh Bashim Al Shai brought a thumb to you, sincere believers, to the hopefully elect. Lord's willing to next time, Shalom.